Have you ever wondered what happens to your recyclables after you put them in your recycling bin? Here's a sneak peek behind the scenes at our material recovery facility in Perth. Your recyclables begin their journey the moment you put them in the correct bin. Make sure bottles, jars and cans are empty and give them a quick rinse before recycling. Never put your recyclables into a plastic bag. We won't be able to recover them and they won't get the chance to be recycled into a new product. The recycling truck picks up your bins with hydraulic arms. When the bins are too close together, it makes it tricky for the arm to pick them up. So remember to leave at least half a metre between your bins. The truck driver has a camera in the hopper so they can see what's being tipped into the truck to make sure it's only recycling. If there's rubbish in there, it risks contaminating the entire load of recycling. The truck takes your recycling to Cleanaway's Perth Material Recovery Facility, or Perth MRF for short. Every truck has an electronic tag on their windscreen which allows the MRF to automatically detect each truck. The trucks are then weighed and directed to the right door for unloading their recyclables. The excavator puts the recyclables into metering bins. Each load weighs around 400 kilograms. It's fluffing time! The metering bins fluff the recyclables as they move onto the retrieval belt, making sure they're not clumped together. Contamination, like clothing, plastic bags, nappies, plant and food waste, gets removed from the recyclables by the sorting team. The sorters also fish out things like gas bottles, flares, batteries and aerosol cans that could damage the machines or cause fires. This machine is called the OCC screen. That stands for Old Corrugated Cardboard. It's made up of triangular metal discs known as tri-discs. Large, tough pieces of cardboard travel up the screen. Smaller items fall between the discs onto something called a debris roll screen. The discs on this screen are smaller and closer together, acting like little hammers hitting the recycling to make it bounce up and down. The hammers break the glass and it falls through the gaps along with anything smaller than 5 centimetres, such as bottle lids, organic material, shredded paper, straws and plastic cutlery. Paper and containers continue along the conveyor belt to the next stage. This is a new sort screen. It sorts the 2D recyclables from the 3D ones. The discs bounce the recyclables up and down the screen. Larger pieces of paper, like newspaper, move up the screen, whereas bottles, containers and cans bounce down below. Next is quality control, where the team removes any contaminants that shouldn't be there, such as soft plastics and small cardboard pieces. Paper and cardboard is sent to the storage bunkers. There are three storage bunkers for this material, one for cardboard, one for newspaper and one for mixed paper. Back at the debris roll screen, the glass and other small items that fell below continue on to the Nihot air separator. An air separator sucks the lighter fibres away from the glass. The glass colour is then processed in a rotary glass crusher where it comes out as tiny grains, like sand. The glass grains are screened once again to remove any non-glass materials. So what happens to the bottles and containers? They go to another sorting station. A strong magnet above the conveyor belt attracts steel cans, carries them and then drops them into a product holding cage. The plastics continue along to the optical sorter. This machine has a laser in it which is programmed to recognise certain types of plastic and triggers air jets to blast the identified item onto a different conveyor belt. Clear plastic bottles are known as PET and milk bottles are known as HDPE. All the rest are referred to as mixed plastics. Aluminium is sorted using a special magnetic current called an eddy current. It repels non-ferrous materials, that is, metals that aren't iron or steel. So, when aluminium passes over the current, it is propelled away and onto a different conveyor belt. While the machines do a really good job at sorting through all the recyclables, there are occasionally materials left over which can't be recycled. They are sent to a waste bin and are taken to landfill. Paper, cardboard, plastics, steel, aluminium and glass. Everything has now been sorted. These materials are now baled, which means compressing the material into cubes and squeezing all the air out. This makes them easy to transport. The bales are packed into trucks or shipping containers for their journey to a new life. Aluminium can become new aluminium cans or even part of an aeroplane. Recycled steel is used to make refrigerators and cars. Paper and cardboard become new paper products, egg cartons, and even kitty litter. Glass can become part of construction materials, road surfaces, insulation, or new glass bottles. Plastic is recycled into new bottles, polar fleece for warm clothes, and even park benches. Every item you recycle counts. 
the more we recycle, the more we save resources for making new products. This saves energy and money, and is a whole lot better for the environment. So pause before you put something in the bin. By putting the right things in the right bins, you are helping to make a sustainable future possible.